Yes, I like Countdown. So we're gonna periodically on this show, we're gonna do a segment where I rank, I think, the best performances in different categories. Yes, you got a graphic. <laughs> Number four, lists make people angry. Number three, it gets people fired up. And you would think that he'd be hired. I know the numbers don't bear out. You're number one on Greg's List. Oh, uh, Aaron and Greg's List segment's a good decision. This combo was a good decision. I'm thinking about decisions in the offseason. I think we've got a, a large sample size to determine which worked and which did not. Carlos Correa kind of inspired me here because the Houston Astros thought, you know what, we'll let him walk. And we'll let Jeremy Pena be our shortstop, a rookie. Good decision because Carlos Correa gets paid a ton of money and Jeremy Pena does not. Their numbers are eerily similar. Their wins above replacement, uh, Carlos Correa barely edges him at 4.3 war. Jeremy Pena, 4.1. Let's just compare salaries. You're paying 700K for Pena, 35.1 million for Carlos Correa. I think that was a good decision, high ceiling for Pena. How about this, number nine, best moves and decisions of the offseason. Brewers trading Jackie Bradley Jr. for Hunter Renfro. I'm still wondering why the Red Sox did this. Hunter Renfro had a big year at Fenway, and all he's done in Milwaukee is continue to mash. Great move. Number eight, Starling Marte. Now, I know he's battled some injuries, but when he plays, he's dynamite for Buck Showalter and the New York Mets. Big reason why they're a game and a half up on the Atlanta Braves at the beginning of play tonight. That four-year, $78 million deal is going to be money well spent at number seven. Best decisions of the offseason. Dodgers give an $8 million one-year deal to a journeyman left-hander, Tyler Anderson. His numbers on the season are off the charts. 15-3, and three, sub-3 three ERA. He's been lights out. Number six, best decision of the offseason. How about the Mariners decide, you know what, all the hype, all the pub, he's breaking camp with us. Julio Rodriguez, you're in the opening day lineup. He struggled for the first month. He's taken off ever since. 26 home runs. Helped win the game the other night at home for the M's. He's outstanding. Number five, best decision of the offseason. Move the wall back. So many of our baseball experts complained about this. Moving a left field wall back 25 feet. The Orioles have one of the best home records in baseball because of it. They're within striking distance of the postseason. Number four, best decision, hire Buck Showalter. Boy, did this move make a ton of sense. This guy has led this team to a top, a very competitive division. Buck Showalter is the man in Flushing, Queens. The man on the mound for the Astros is the third best decision of the offseason. Justin Verlander with a sub-2 ERA. He's cruising to another Cy Young. One year, $25 million. There is an option, but that is money well spent, number three. Number two, best decision, bringing back Albert Pujols. John Mozeliak. Almost didn't do it. It went down to the 11th hour. But now Albert Pools is the second biggest story of the season because the greatest decision of the offseason was Aaron Judge turning down 200 plus million from Brian Cashman and betting on himself, who just hit his 56th home run of the year. Aaron Judge with the number one decision of the offseason.